Hi guys and welcome to the videos. I'm Ruben from Fit Fitness, um, where we talk everything about boxing training and different punch combinations, etc., etc. Um, so, in our last video, we spoke about the jab and the importance of the jab and how the jab can help you in a fight. And we came to the conclusion that the jab is the most important punch in boxing. Okay. Now let's say your opponent is jabbing you, jabbing you the whole time. Um, you're on the outside, you know, so you need to come in close, basically. We'll talk about it in the next video, but let's say you need, you, your opponent's got a great jab, so you, you need to come in close to fight him on the inside, and then step away, step out again. Now, often in boxing, it happens, a guy jabs, and you sit this way, you sit that way, eventually you find, you find yourself close to him, right, right in front of him and you're ready to do your inside fighting because inside fighting is a very important part of boxing you need to be able to box on the outside as well as inside and i think many boxers um, they're great movers and boxing nice straight punches from distance from a from a from a from a distance but they battle to fight on the inside um, i think i was one of those guys when i was when i was coming up i also battled to fight on the inside but it only it's only through experience, guys, and practicing, practicing it many times, that uh, you'll get better at it. So we're going to look at today just just a couple of combinations uh, that you can use when you're doing inside fighting. Now, let's say you found your way inside the jab and you're coming close to your opponent and you're right in front of him. Okay. So the first one we're going to look at is the uppercut. When you're in close, your opponent's there. You're going to throw the uppercut. And after the uppercut, you can't just throw one punch in boxing. It doesn't work that way. You know, you can look. You don't 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 get me wrong. You can throw as many punches as you can. But for me, I will never teach somebody to throw a one punch, just a one punch on its own. Because if that punch misses, what then? Uh, you need to throw two, three, four punches. Because if you miss with the first two, you catch, you land with the third and the fourth, for instance. It's just the way I see it, guys. Um, okay, so the uppercut. On the inside fighting and then you're going to follow with the left hook and the right hand and i'm going to show you how it's going to work the uppercut you're going to stand there because normally um, your opponent when you when you're fighting inside fighting you have to leave a little space open so you can see your opponent you know many times you'll see a boxer be standing there very very rarely like you get guy like floyd mayweather i mean there's only one floyd mayweather he, he'll be standing like this you can't get through you know it's difficult is, you can get through. We're going to go over that in one of my videos. Uh, but for now, we're going to work on this one. So the opponent is there, hands up, he's covering up, boom, uppercut, you know, he's throwing punches, body shots, close fighting. The way to get through to that, there's a lot of ways, but we're going to work on two ways today. The uppercut, so from there on, uppercut, and then a the left hook, and then a the straight right. That was that combination. Now the uppercut, is, it doesn't just happen, you don't just stand there and all of a sudden you throw uppercut. You can do it, it's fine, you, you can. But I'm going to show you a different way. So you're standing there, as you're there, close, close, close. Keep it low guys, keep your chin tucked in, hands up high. Protect yourself, body, 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 cover, cover. Dip your legs, so you don't dip your body, you don't bend your, leg, your, your back. You dip your legs, boom, come up with the uppercut, boom. So you use that hole, the hips, everything. Turn it in, guys. Turn it in. Turn it in. Standing there, coming through the uppercut, right through the middle. And remember, don't drop your hand and think you're going to generate more power. Never, never. Your power does not come from behind there. Your power comes from your legs your hips and your shoulders and we, that, that's, an, that's for another video but keep your uppercut there simple dip your legs bring it through boom right through catch him on the chin or the nose boom hopefully jerk his head backwards hopefully shake him hopefully knock him down knock him out or whatever and hopefully score some points so there boom uppercut your body's there come back with a left hook and then straight right hand, guys. The punch works 100%. Especially in close fights. You've got a guy, he's, he's very tight-guarded, you know, he's there, he's there. Boom, boom, you, you can't 
get through to his guard. Just take a little dip. You, see, you find it, especially with the heavyweight boxing, the big guys. One guy is much bigger than the other guy and he's leaning on him the whole time, round after round. By round seven, eight, you know, the other guy, is, you're tired. So this is a little trick just to cut those legs, bring it through, boom, boom, that's it. So there, we're going to look at it again. Quick, quick guys. After that, follow up. You catch him. If you, that's why you're throwing three punches. You might catch him with the uppercut, you might catch him with a left hook or a straight right, or you might catch him with all three punches. Doesn't matter. But as soon as you catch him, as you throw those punches, keep throwing, guys. Keep throwing. And step to the side. Angles. It's all about angles. Now that's one. We're going to look at that one. Practice that one in the gym. Discuss it with your trainer in the gym. Tell him uh, about my video. And then uh, hopefully it works for you guys. And the next one we're going to look at is a sneaky little uppercut. It's not an uppercut, it's a sneaky punch basically. So you're there, your opponent is a little bit taller than you. He's leaning on you again, once again, and he keeps walking you down. You know, he walks you down. So, you know, the referee always, the referee doesn't always see uh, what's going on, you know. He's only seeing from one side of the... He's got one angle, he's standing this side, he's standing that side. So I don't blame the ref, he doesn't, he can't always see what's happening. So this is what you do guys. After you do the uppercut, if it happens again, this is what you do. You're there, you do your thing, keep your chin tucked in. All you got to do, come in close, right next to him. Right, he's in front of you. Just dip those legs, you dip those legs, and you extend your legs, straight. Boom, make sure your shoulder is under his chin and what will happen you, your shoulder will connect his chin up so up there boom ba, 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 combination guys the most important is the right hand so then lift it up you lift him up as your shoulder lifts his head up boom 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 combination guys he's standing he's leaning on there your shoulder pushes him up boom and you follow up and it works well guys it's um Try that one out, Fill it. keep trying in the gym, talk to your trainer about it, obviously, and then uh, see how it works for you. Those are just two basic things that you can do in inside fighting. There are a lot more that you can do, uh, which we will look at in, in time. Um, so for next the next video, we're going to be looking at when you've got an opponent against the ropes. You know, many boxers often don't know what to do. They've got an opponent against the ropes and they're hitting straight shots and they're making him, they're burning themselves out and I've seen uh, a lot of well-known boxers do that, great great champions do that they're just hitting straight punches you know, burning themselves out and just like that, the guy against the ropes he gets out and he moves away the trick, the thing about having your opponent against the ropes you want to keep him there because he feels like he's cornered you want to make him feel that he can't get out you know, he's in, that's, a, that's a danger zone for him. He wants to get out so he can get his breath back and he can relax and he can move around again, get his breath back. So your goal is you want to keep him there. Okay, so next time we're going to look at that and we're going to see how you can keep your opponent against the ropes uh, and make the most out of it, guys. So keep watching our videos. Until next time, cheers.